Don't be afraid, it's just a snake. Although a lot of people are afraid of snakes, I have to admit for me, they are one of the most fascinating species out there. Did you know there are over 3,000 species of snake? And don't worry, only about 13% of those are venomous. That's not so bad, right? So welcome back to our adventure in the Kansas City Zoo, everyone. While I was there, I spent a lot of time studying how the exhibits were built and how the guests interacted with them. As you'll see, researching how people observe and become curious about the natural world is one of my favorite things to do. Though the hundreds of episodes of Zoo Crafting and Zoo Tycoon 2 that we have done on our channel may have given away the fact that I do indeed love learning about how people study, interact with, and get curious and excited about the natural world especially because teaching people real facts about animals and working with them to be excited and curious to learn is very important to do when there are so many urban legends and rumors and facts about animals that people think they know that may not be true and really need to have the record set straight. Okay, so we were just in the snake house and Oh my goodness, it was so hard not to just start leading a lecture while I was in the snake house because there were some people who were very well-meaning but were perpetuating a lot of myths about reptiles, especially about snakes. Like the urban legend that a snake sneaks out of its owner's tank and slides into the bed and lines up next to her to be able to figure out if it can eat her or not. Urban legend, not true. And then there's also all sorts of urban legends about reptiles not having any kind of bond with one another at all. But then you have examples of like the reticulated python, which this gentleman was talking about, who actually will defend her little nest area and protect those eggs until everybody hatches. Or you've got examples of some of the amazing animals in Australia who form relationships, species of skink and some new species of lizard that they're doing additional research into, who form generational relationships for ages. They build out family tunnels. They're so amazing. So just remember, there's a lot more to reptiles than what you hear. And if it sounds like a really trippy urban legend where like the snake was sneaking out and eating everybody in the house, then it's probably not true. And they just are so cool, you guys. Snakes really deserve a lot more love and a lot more attention and research than a lot of people give them. So it was so hard not to jump on like my Siri grandstanding and being like, actually, actually, they're really a lot cooler than that, but I managed to contain myself, just barely. So there's a bunch of free range kangaroos behind me right now, which is extremely exciting. And I have to say their exhibit looks fantastic. I was here last year in January and now that all of the beautiful leaves have come in, it just is awesome. They're over there basking in the, in the beautiful, beautiful grass and just enjoying the sunlight, digging in the dirt. And I noticed this little feature that again, because I'm always looking at these things from a 
point of view of kind of studying it and trying to see what I could incorporate in my zoos, be they fictional or not. There is a new river here. It's just the tiniest little stream that they have built and added in to be running in the open kangaroo area. So you're walking with the kangaroos, but now they have this little stream so that you can have that division between you and the roos normal roosting area. It's a new addition. I absolutely love it because there used to be a lot of problems with kids just zipping straight into the path onto the grass to be able to try to chase the kangaroos and it just creates a very natural little barrier that I want to remember for the zoos that we work with too. Hey guys, check it out. It's like my mom's house. There's so many seashells. They're all lined up in the Australian Outback Museum and all I can think is my mom has uh, probably 300 times as many shells. Wow, look how big that one is! And it's still a little bit smaller than the one my mom sent me. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at all the different patterns. These are fun. I would love to see an Australian National History Museum one day. Guys, it's a kookaburra. And it's so beautiful. He's the fluffiest bird I've seen yet. And I had no idea that I'm in love with kookaburra. How many of you guys who are in Australia have these guys somewhere around you? He's so beautiful. I wish I could give him all of the trees. Guys, not only is the tropic sign really beautiful and it makes me want to commission like Pablo to make another divincing sign, but look up there. There's a little bird nest in the sign and that is so cute. I know, this room feels just like I wish my office did so that we could really grow our ferns and our orchids and the birds would enjoy it even better. And they're so pretty, I love them. Can I just like have this building as my future office? Yeah. This is life goals right here. So this guy is a crested screamer. He looks pretty snoozy at the moment, but my sister and I were commenting that he looks just like a giant dove and he truly does. He's like the size of a turkey. Not screaming at the moment, but taking a nap. But he does just look just like a big giant oversized dove. Oh, look at you, buddy. Are you gonna take a nap or are you gonna preen? Oh, you're so beautiful.
thanks so much for joining me, you guys. And the biggest adventure that I had while I was at the Kansas City Zoo this time is actually about to come up. Next time, you guys are going to be able to see me get on a sky tram to go over the safari zone and be able to see the giraffes from above. And it was a amazing experience. I can't wait to share it with you. And as always, if you guys are curious about the things that I get up to behind the scenes, or you would like to see some of my nature vlogs when I go hiking, or some of my interactions with my animals and plants in my office in my real life, then be sure to check over on the vlog channel where we have quite a bit of uh, that sort of hidden footage just waiting for you to dive into. I hope you are all having a wonderful day and remember everybody, stay curious!